Welcome back to our video, video series on Trello. We're going to have a look at how Trello works with notifications. Okay, so um, notifications are, can be quite important around a few things. So most obvious around things like due dates. So you wanna make sure that there's a, there's, a, there's a notification that pops to you when something is, is ready to be due. Now we had a look at in the last video when we set this due date um, that we wanna be notified two days before. So that's going to email us as the card owner that um, we are going to um, have something due by on the 20th. Um, it's gonna let us know that on the 22nd of May, it's at two o'clock, this thing is due. So you need to, to be to be mindful of it, okay? So that's, a, that's an obvious one. But when Trello gets expanded into multiple users, that's when it really starts to open up and make a lot more sense. Um, now, I don't use due dates a lot because it's mainly in my work that I, that I do and I've got my own system. Um, but at the moment, um, for, for, for the purposes of what we're displaying, we need to have another user on the board. Okay, so how do we do that? We want to invite another, say another colleague to the board. So we can go to invite up here and we can either just send them the link directly so a link straight to the board, and then they can sign up and, and create their own. But I actually have another account. So if I put in the email, okay, and there I am there, and send invitation, it's going to then send me a notification to say, um, well, Lee would like to add you to the board. Now, I'm sending it to myself, so that's a bit odd, but the idea works quite well. Okay, so now what's just happened, I've received an email to say that I've been invited to the board. And on the app on the phone, I've also popped up the notification to say, Lee would like to be added to the board. Okay, so um, that's, that's another way to sort of utilize how this works. Now, um, if we go here, we can, we can pop up here and see how many people are invited. There's little um, icons to show the, the different people of the board. Um, if we click in here, you can see easy, quite easily to remove someone from the board. You can change the permissions so you can make them an admin so they have full rights over the board. Um, probably would be careful with that one, how that one works. But you can sort of see how this all works. Okay, so if we go into a card now, right, and we click on members, you can see that there's actually another account of mine that I can add someone else to. So as soon as I tick on that to say Lee's a member, Lee number two's a member, or number one I should say, I'm going to then receive an email and I'm going to receive a notification on any device that I've got Trello plugged into. So that could be my watch, if I've got a, say, say an Apple watch, it could be my phone, it could be my iPad, it could be just an email if I don't have any of those extra things, I've just got it, got it, got it working in the browser. Um, that would that would then notify me to say, hey, you've been assigned this card. Okay, you've been added as a member. And if we close that, you can see at the bottom here, we've now got two people that are part of that this board, uh, part of this card. Okay, so um, this is how we would add, add other members and this is how we then um, actually apply a membership role to some to another card and we can basically essentially assign the task to somebody else okay um, now i mentioned about notifications now if you go into um, your name at the top here um, there's settings you can go to settings and in your account here you can change how the notifications get handled okay so if you click on change notification email frequency, you can say just periodically, and it tells you there, every hour it's gonna send you an email. You can say, don't send me anything because I'm gonna look in this all the time anyway. And it will it will still appear as a notification in the application itself. Um, or you can say, no, let me know straight away. As soon as anything happens, please let me know. Um, so you can go in there and change the frequency, um, which, which is which is not a nice touch. Okay, so if we jump back into the board, now, um, how the notifications work can also, there's also three levels of, of notifications that you can set up as well. So we can do that on a card level, we can do it on a list level, and we can do it on an entire board level. So if we go over to, um, to the show menu here on the right, we can go into more, 
and we can click on the watch link here and it will pop up with a little icon at the top here to say that you're watching. So basically anything that happens on this board, you're gonna be notified of. So that's not so bad when say if it's just myself and another person or a few other people. But if I start to get a team of 10 or 20 people on a board, anything that happens at all to the board, I'm gonna be notified on. So I don't know who in their right mind would ever want to do that. But if I'm, say if I was a manager to, for a group of people, I may wanna know every step of the way of what's happening. Okay, so um, turning that watching board does the whole thing. So I'm gonna say stop watching for a minute. But we can also do this on a column level or, or a list level. So let's say I only wanna know when something is moved to done. Okay, so if I click on those three, um, three buttons at the top here, I can say watch. Okay, and it's gonna add a little eyeball next to the list. So anytime anything happens inside this list, anything at all, it's gonna let me know. So say for example, if you had a lot of people use Trello for um, a procedure, a workflow. So there might be 15 steps into a workflow. Um, you might own column two and three. So as soon as someone puts a board into your column, you get notified. As soon as someone then, once it's in you, those columns two and three, someone adds an attachment or adds a comment or, or adjust something, you'll get notified. But if it goes into say column five, you don't get notified. Okay, so in the example we're looking at here, it'll only notify me if anything gets ha anything happens in this column here. So if stuff over here gets moved around, it's not gonna make any difference. But if I go here and drag that over, it's going to then notify me. And the notifications will depend on the frequency that I set in that in that notification frequency screen. So if it's once every hour, if it's immediately, it's gonna depend. Okay, so we'll just move that one out of there. Now, I did say there was a third level of, of watching. So you can actually go into a card and set to watch the card. So by default, if you have your, if you're a member of the card, it's on by default. So if we have a look in here, you can see watch at the bottom here is ticked. But if we go into set up social media, you can see watch is not ticked. But I can go in here and hit watched, and then it's going to again put our little icon of the eyeball to let us know that we've got to be informed of anything at all that happens to the card. So finally, just on notifications, um, we mentioned before that in the activity here, we can write comments. So we can also write them at a colleague, okay, or at someone else, one of the other board members. So we can say, um, Lee, please set up Facebook. And if I look at the right here, I've got a few options here when I do add a add a activity. I can add an attachment, I can mention a member, I can have a little emoji, or I can add another card to it. So if we add an attachment, okay, we're going to grab our little image at the front here, go open, we're gonna add that in there. Okay, so once, so once it uploads, it's gonna to, going to throw it into the attachments here. But there it is there, okay, so it's, it's saved a copy of the attachment. I'm gonna go at, so my little at, I want to let I want to let Lee know that this is for him. Okay, I can add a little emoji just to make it nice, and I might also add a card to it as well. So one of the other cards on here is book holiday. So I can start searching for that. There it is. There book holiday. Okay, and we close that. And then when I go save, it's going to adjust all that text to something that's readable. Okay, so it's got my text in there, Lee, Lee, please set up Facebook. It's got my icon for the link to the image, so I can click on that and it's gonna show me what that image is. And it's got my at Lee Stoker, so my other account would be notified. And it's also got a link directly to the card. So there's a, there's a whole host of ways that you can, you can chat back and forth with, with other members of the board to keep them up to date and even if it's just a, a way to, to move things along quickly. When, I, when my other email is gonna receive this notification for what's in this box, it's gonna receive, receive a snapshot of everything that's there. Okay, so that's really handy. Now keep in mind, I'm still not a member of the board. I've purely just gone, hey Lee, you need to see, you need to know about this. It's my, you know, it's not anyone's job at the moment, but you need to, to have a heads up. So that's notifications. And there was again, a bit of a longer video, but there's a fair bit in there 
to, to how Trello works. So I thought we'd better cover all of that. So in our next video, we're gonna have a look at some of our shortcuts that we can do on the board. Really interesting video, so stick around.